năm 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 bơi đi năm năm I have understanding of computers. I shall be the supreme being. God isn't interested in technology. He knows nothing of the potential of the microchip or the silicon revolution. Look how he spends his time. 43 species of parrots. Nipples for men. <laughs> Don't do that, Jesus Christ. You're going to get me killed. <laughs> Out of here. Oh, oh Billy. <laughs> I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? And we are live. Welcome, everybody, to Aeon Bite to AB Live. Welcome to the virtual Alexandria. And yes, men still have nipples, and uh, probably less men the day after <laughs> Halloween on this All Saints Day. It's also El Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. So I'm sure everybody's either recovering from the festivities or an introspective mode or perhaps celebrating. I have my Day of the Dead candle, which I'm going to light tonight as I reminisce and dance with the spirits. But uh, welcome, everybody. And uh, yeah, very excited to see everybody. My name is Miguel Connor, and I am still your pompadus of Gnosis. And very excited today to have on board Ian from Gnostic Awakening World. Ian, thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me on. Pleasure is all ours. And yeah, you're going to give us a, a very exciting presentation. It was nice meeting you over the internet. And I saw your we website and research. And I said, yeah, we got to share this stuff with the world. It's uh, yeah. good stuff. And with us too, we've got the Moondog Vance. Vance, how are you doing? Oh, I'm pretty good. I'm very excited because I'm going to finally find out if the captain, Neil, you know, if the captain was actually an alien. <laughs> that's digging deep, man. That is digging hey, deep. Hey, that's, that's the latest in pop music that I know about. So Really? <laughs> no. Huh. Well, I like Peter uh, Gabriel. He's kind of cool. He's kind of Peter Gabriel. What can you say? Yep. Mm. Awesome. Well, uh, I see everybody already joining the chat room. Good to see everybody and uh, all the familiar faces. Hello, Anon Omos. Uh, mm -hmm. Hello, Stephanie. And uh, yeah, hello. Who else is there? I uh, will say later as we go on. But you guys know the drill. If you uh, if we have time for questions, please all caps or hit us up with a super chat. And uh, we will do our best to get to you as we uh, go on a spanning voyage to understand the esoteric and Gnostic themes in popular music. Hello, Mark Jefferson. Hope you're doing well, my friend. But first, before we get into the presentation, Ian, how did you come about to encountering these heretics called the Gnostics? And how did your website come about? Uh, okay. Well, I've always been interested in the arts since I'm late teens. Uh, oh, also, I want to mention first that uh, I hope the audience will bear with me because <laughs> uh, English is a second language to me. So, uh, but yeah, I, I started to to like the arts uh, in my late teens, and then my mid twenties, I started to be interested into the esoteric of arts, and uh, twenty years later. Uh, here I am with uh, the website. And how did you come across the Gnostics? Uh, like in your website, uh, if you go there, I was great. I love it because you start talking uh, about Mani and the Cathars and how they yeah, yeah. they have helped your uh, worldview. Well, it, it happens uh, maybe for the maybe eight years ago for the Qatar and uh, that I really took an interest in them. Uh, Mani, it was a trip to France. I found a book about him that's quite rare actually and uh, written by a French I don't a French guy I don't think it was translated to English but a very good book so uh, I started to get very interested in that and uh, yeah I, I don't know how it came about the website and everything it's all like synchronistic events one after the other Sometimes, yeah, the spirits move through you and uh, you just mm. got to lean on it and go yeah, with yeah. their message. Mm -hmm. We are just mm -hmm. vessels, right? And this exactly. grand battle between light and darkness, right? That's right. 
Awesome. Yeah. And also uh, another thing about your website, you talked about how French is a better language for understanding esotericism. <laughs> Could you share that? Yeah. I thought it was really cool. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you find it in, uh, all over popular music, French, uh, and little, uh, because, uh, well, my view is that the, the God of the world is it's his favorite language. Uh, and, uh, well, the intelligence, let's uh, try to, we'll try to make a case tonight that uh, uh, there's a, a dual purpose to popular music and dual intelligence behind it. And uh, it's favorite language seems to be French because French is uh, very precise on esoteric subject hidden in the language. Uh, it's a very complex language with um, English is important too, but uh, I'll say well, it's the, the, the two, two only language I know anyway, but uh, I know a bit of uh, Greek, a bit of Latin, but mostly English and French. Um, yeah, well, uh, French is a well. It's the language of royalty too for for a long time, and it's uh, it's a lot of books, esoteric books, are in French. Uh, it's it's an important language to understand. Oh, yeah. oh for sure. I mean, mm -hmm. French was what to what 10, 15 years ago the most spoken language in the world, but then yeah. English eventually, because commerce, like in commerce, ancient times, yeah. like with the Greeks, eventually it became the lingua franca. Yeah, yeah. English became the lingua franca and replaced French. So. Mm -hmm. Good deal, good deal. And uh, yeah, not much for uh, housekeeping that I have. A uh, couple of days we should have another AB Live where we were talking about magic and comic books. And next week, Exciting show on a book dedicated to the deep cry, Sophia and the divine spark within for an exciting new book. Uh, you guys definitely have to get this book and I will have more. We're just uh, moving fast as 2022 churns along and uh, I'm sure 2023 will be just as insane because here we are at the end of the world. So other than that, uh, yeah, I think that's all I got. So we can definitely start with the presentation. I will whip it up here. And I will probably, as you talk to, I might describe some things because this uh, interview will also be released in audio and iTunes, Spotify. Okay, okay. I'll have a little description of what we're seeing. Yeah, yeah. So those on listening can audio can understand. So let me, where are you? Where are you, my little Katy Perry? There you are. Yeah, All yeah. right, we'll get us started, Ian. Okay, so uh, this first image is uh, from uh, the making up of a Katy Perry video that is called uh, This Is How We Do. And uh, in this particular uh, moment of the making up, she, she said, she says, sorry, uh, God is in the details as she shows her uh, pizza earrings her pizza fingernails and her pizza swimsuit. Mm -hmm. And she has also a slice of watermelon. We will see what it means later on. Uh, so she says, God is in the details. Normally the saying is, uh, the devil is in the details. So, uh, and she's not a random bystander. She's the most, she was the most popular artist in the world when she said that musical, musically. So we should pay attention uh, to what's been, to, she what is be, I'm, I'm sure she didn't improvise that she was she was told to say that at this particular moment of the making up of the music video uh so yeah that's it uh i have uh notes i wanted to uh start with to give a context like sure. I do with the website i have a forward because only doing the unveiling without the forward is uh is, doesn't really work. So uh, what I tried to uh, bring about with the website is a new gnosis updated for the 21st century. Uh, the Rosetta Stone to decode popular music, in my view, is uh, the fact, the basic fact that the human man and woman creature are uh, an artistic exterior rendition of our inner constitution. Um, 
where the man represents the incarnated male spirits because we are in fact all incarnated male spirits in the world uh, women are male spirits too so the true feminine uh, element is not in the world which is the it is the this what we call what i call in the website the twin sister but we refer to her as, as the soul normally so the woman uh the woman creature doesn't isn't really the the real thing she is an, uh, an evocation of it and she also can represent what takes her place in our male mind which is the the femme fatale of the matrix i don't know if it's clear uh and uh so the romantic relationships between men and women are an outside imitation of a process that should happen inward mm -hmm. uh, that is the the unification of the unifying unification is not a word i think unifying of the male spirit and the feminine twin sister or soul uh, and so the life of imitation is a limitation for us at going higher. Uh, okay, so human experience is an experience of duality that must be overcome. The God of the world is, himself is in duality, and so human lives serve two opposite purposes. The first purpose is a support uh, to work at our ascension and at our unification with the soul. The second purpose is to take away or is an opposition to that. Because like, like I said, the God is in duality, is uh, to take away our energy and eventually uh, our heart and soul. So popular music itself serves two purposes. The first one is, is again to take away our energy because we are being discharged like batteries and uh, by the and uh, by listening to uh, this the popular music itself that's why the songs are so catchy and they stick in your head because they link you with directly to the harkons and uh, might seem uh, incredible to most people but uh, we'll make a case of that tonight hopefully i would agree uh, with you keep going <laughs> okay uh so yeah, so the, the main function, the first purpose is to take away the spiritual energy of the twin sister. And the second one is revelation. And so with the website, I uh, activated this second possibility that I don't think was ever done before. Uh, I, I didn't find anything on the net. That's why I did the website, because otherwise I would not come forward with that. But nobody else seems to do it, so uh, seemed to do it. So I decided to do it myself. Uh, yeah, you wanted to <laughs> to say something? No, no, no. I like. Yeah, <laughs> I, I certainly agree with you. These things are vampiric. Our attention yeah. is holy, and it's mm -hmm. an avenue to stealing our divine sparks. So, yeah. There's a, a song by uh, George Harrison that explains it very well. It's called "Devil's Radio." And in the song, uh, it says that uh, basically that the the songs will shape you into an Eskimo igloo <laughs> because uh, that's the blue color of the, this uh, music video of, of uh, This Is How We Do. Like it's mm -hmm. very, uh, the blue color, it, it represents the cold color that is uh, generated by the male spirit being distracting from his heart. Uh, we'll see that later on, but more... Uh, well, uh, yeah. Okay. So next, the next image is a, it's a Pearl Jam album called uh, Pearl Jam. It's an eponym album. And on it, there's a, an avocado. Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't make a research on this one to know what was the, the good reason they give for that being on probably they would say the man, a band member loved the avocado or something like that, but it's not that. There's no purpose for a rock band to put an avocado like on an eponym album, because an eponym album normally is something that defines the band. Why an avocado? Because what we have to understand is that 
the avocado is a fruit that is very high in fat. And fat is a, a metaphor for the spiritual energy that we have that uh, gets taken away by listening to popular music, uh, among other things, but just by living life, by consumption, because everything has a cost. Uh, we, we're not aware of that. Everything uh, in life has a cost for a spiritual being. So we are being, um, so fat is a, a represents, is symbolize uh, the energy reserve that we got. Sometimes it's compared to money. So money and fat are the two main symbols that are used in popular music to refer to that uh, spiritual energy that gets taken away from us. Mm -hmm. So uh, the blue color is again, is a, another important, uh, as we will show tonight, uh, this particular type of blue more, more even than a, it, it represents the color that is being generated by uh, the male spirit being distracted from his art or by listening to popular music because we, like i said we're being discharged so the the reserves of energy we got are slowly it's very slowly it's not by listening to pearl jam for one night that you're going to get in trouble but uh it's part of a whole uh, way of life in modern world where we are being discharging or, or spiritual energy is getting taken away from us. Uh, so that's the blue color by, by opposition to red, the red of the heart. So when the male spirit incarnated is uh, in synchronized, synchron, is synchronized with his twin sister, it's the opposite of the blue color, it's the red color of uh, of what I call on the website agape, which is uh, a term to dis to uh, refer to uh, love, right. uh, but a type of love that is a primordial love, that is the love that Christ uh, actually Christ uh, often used the the word agape and in, uh, in the gospels and also probably in the other Gnostic text in Greek. Mm -hmm. right. uh, yeah, so that's the blue color. So it means being deprived of of the true relationship you're supposed to have with your soul or your twin sister. So, and you can, if you can go to the next image. Sure. So that the back of the album, you show no pits in the avocado. Mm. So the pit is uh, the soul or heart that's being taken away because of wrongful doing or listening too much to popular music. So you see the titles, Life Wasted, Worldwide Suicide, Comatose, should uh, give us a hint of what it is all about. <clears throat> so yeah, it's very clear when you understand the symbolism. Uh, first, like I said, you have to know the Rosetta Stone and the Rosetta Stone is the the fact that our male spirit is uh, only is incarnated in our twin sister. That's the the meaning of the allegory of uh, the Garden of of uh, of, uh, of uh, Eden with okay. Adam and Eve. Adam is not a it's not it doesn't represent um, a human couple. It represents a spiritual couple, and uh, Adam is what is incarnated in our mind. Or conscious mind this is the male spirit and uh, Eve is the heart and soul uh, sometime in popular music the heart is compared to the twin sister and the soul is the baby but they're one and the same uh, they're indistinguishable from uh, not the right word they're uh, undistinguishable is it the word yeah. One from the other. I don't think it's a word. In this so thing, which, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so they can be separated. They're one and the same, according to the gnosis of popular music. Uh, yeah. So we can start maybe with uh, Katy Perry. I got a couple of videos, sure. music videos from She is a holy grail of um, Gnosticism, in my view. Uh, there's four main uh, music videos from her that are uh, showing the uh, uh, dark agnostic teaching. 
And uh, the first one is called Hot and Cold. This is the one we see now, the first uh, shot of the video. It's about uh, the, it's not about, again, about the, the wedding of a man and a human uh, woman. It's about the supposed uh, wedding of uh, uh, twins, sorry, it's about the, the wedding of the incarnated male spirit with the twin sister. <clears throat> so uh, the first shot of the video shows uh, the, it's called Alexander in the music video, but show the, the male twin hesitating at, at the wedding uh, the bride, which is uh, well played by Katy Perry, which means which represent the twin sister, <clears throat> and so uh, he hesitate, and then uh, next image. So the he he escapes from church, and then we see the wedding girls making right. an end gesture of the head being cut from the heart with their left hand. <clears throat> and next image, please. The boys, the wedding boys make the hand gesture of pointing in front of them with the left hand too. So this indicates that it's the left side, the, which is called sinister, that is uh, giving the direction for the, the male spirit. Um, and I, I didn't explain that too, but it's important. The, the two sides of the body uh, are important. The right side is what we identified uh, as man as, or, uh, or true side. Uh, the left side is in the position in the, the world of uh, the material world. Uh, it's often called, I'll call it sinister. Uh, while the right one, the right uh, side is Dexter. So sinister is providing the direction for the, the male spirit uh, incarnated in this uh, shot. So next image, we see he's getting, getting outside, he's, he's escaping the church, and there's a strange uh, like secret service man that is uh, at the entrance of the church he has his right hand hidden and lowered in his left hand. And it's again the same continuation of symbolism. And he has a phone in his hand, which uh, alludes to a, a wrong inner communication of the, the character that we see in the bottom, uh, Alexander. Mm -hmm. So next image. So after that, he fumbles on a hot dog man. The <laughs> hot dog man represents the masculine principle that is not respected because he's making a joke of it because <laughs> he doesn't uh, know what he's doing uh, next image please after that he fumbles on watermelons the watermelon is a very important symbol symbolism in Katy Perry music videos and it refers to the twin sister so it refers now to the the female principle that is not respected because the watermelon is a, has a green exterior, like the art chakra, and a pink interior. So it, that's why it's a symbol for uh, the twin sister. Uh, and green also is the color, and the esoteric is the color of, the, of hidden things. Um, so if you uh, can uh, show the next image, uh, Miguel. Miguel. Uh, so, to prove that it's not coincidence, yeah. the, the, the single for Hot and Cold shows uh, a watermelon with the, with, shows that the music video is a plaintive mes message of the heart to the head. So uh, that's what it is about. So we see that Katy on, on this, uh, the head is the male receiving the message and the uh, watermelon gives the message. Um, the lyrics of the song, the chorus is your hot and your cold, your yes and your no, your in and your how. 
uh, you're up and you're down. You're wrong when it's right. It's black and it's white. Mm -hmm. You uh, so what it describes is a duality. Uh, so I get distracted by the message on the. Bottom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. has a point. He's got a point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there certainly is uh, evil related to that, but we have to understand the meaning that's what 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 we're being told there, uh, because just uh, saying this is evil, uh, uh, we're we're missing the opportunity for understanding because they're mocking us. That's for sure. But they're mocking us with truth, not with lies. That's true. That is true. Um, so yeah, so the 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 chorus I just uh, described the what they portrayed is a, a duality experience that the male spirit is having. That's why he has problem why uh, staying with his heart and staying linked with his heart because of all the distraction, the duality experience of good and evil, that is distracting him from his true love that is his heart and soul. So, uh, okay, so maybe next image. So after that, the character Alexander is getting uh, transported by a crowd. So this shows that he doesn't uh, has the, have the uh, capacity of uh, he's being uh, influenced by the crowd. He's not his own man. He hasn't developed the, uh, the capacities of, uh, of being strong. He's getting carried away by a crowd of people. That's what I think it represents. So next shot is um, uh, then he's being dragged to a Katy Perry video. <laughs> but the the uh, the Katy Perry show, sorry. So we see that Katy is making the end gesture with the two fingers pointing up. Uh, that is similar. That is called the Dexter of Christ. Actually, that's the term for it. Mm. Uh, and uh, so it's the it's pointing up the 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 middle finger and the index finger are joined together and pointing up. I haven't finished my theory on uh, the human hand, so I will post it on the website. But I don't want cool. to say too much about about that. But it's very important. Every hand gesture in these videos are in this particular music video are very important. The the hand gesture all through the movie, uh, the the music video, they have to be uh, understood and analyzed by. Uh, uh, the viewer, I, I don't uh, explain everything on the website because uh, I could make a, a website only on Katy Perry. Uh, but nothing is there uh, by chance in this music. Just what I'm trying to exp explain is that it's all very thoughtful. So thoughtful that the, even the watermelon uh, symbolism, I couldn't find a better one. So I use it for my website to uh, represent <laughs> Makes sense. It's so good. Uh, <laughs> so uh, next image. So then we see on the background is a pink cross. So that's the uh, the rosy cross and uh, rose and cross. Mm, uh, right. It's it's a lot. Uh, it is a uh, as a lot of um, resemblance to a type of cattle cross. A certain type of cattle cross. To, but the cross and what's in the middle is the heart. It represents uh, the state of the twin sister. And uh, yeah, so that's, again, it's very thoughtful. So next image, uh, we see uh, a, a group of sore brides uh, that have been beaten up and are mad. Um, they're nice on the eye, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Kathy herself was handpicked to do this uh, revelation because yeah. uh, she's a good-looking lady and she's also a good actress. And uh, yeah. she can play the femme fatale. She can play the ordinary girl next door. Yeah. She has a really uh, good voice. A, yeah, very yeah, good, good voice. voice. Yeah. So she was really handpicked to do this because uh, there's nothing like Katy Perry uh, for symbolism that I found is the holy grail like i said so yeah 
uh, on the website, uh, I describe them as sore bright because the uh, sore is an anagram of rose. And in the esoteric, the rose is uh, another cold word for the twin sister or soul, uh, the heart and soul. Uh, I didn't explain that, but uh, the word in French, we have time, huh? the word uh, uh, car in French, which is art in English, car is uh, five little words with C O U E R. And uh, the word uh, sœur, which means sister, has only one letter difference, the first one. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you pronounce the C of car independently, you get sœur, which is again sister. And rose is an anagram of sœur again, which is sister. S-O-E-R. There is only the U missing, but the, the phonetic is sœur, which is... Uh, the sister. The sister itself is an anagram of resist. But you ask me why the French is an important language. This is one of the reasons why. Yeah. French is uh, full of uh, little Gnostic information like that, that you can find if you know the language and you know how to uh, decode. Uh, so yeah, so uh, next image. Okay, so here uh, she described in the song that she said, I can get out this ride of roller coaster. And she makes a waving uh, gesture with the hand. Uh, uh, and the, the roller coaster is um, a metaphor against for human life that has its up and down and uh, that the twin sister finds very uh, difficult to bear because uh, it's alien, alien to uh, what she is. Uh, the roller coaster as a metaphor for human life and uh, relationships is found in another Katy Perry video, music video that we're going to see later that's called uh, uh, Chain to the Rhythm. So next image. Oh, yeah. So, so towards the end of the music video, uh, Katy Perry points the viewer and say, you change your mind like a girl, change your clothes. Yeah. And she points at the viewer because it's about all of us. So what's being what we're being told here by the God of the world is that we're not really being men spiritually. We're not accomplishing our role. So she said, you, you change your mind like a girl, change your clothes. Uh, so next image. So now we, after that, we're, we're shown uh, again, Cathy with a backstage pass, which I, I'm not sure of the definite meaning. It, it might uh, allude to uh, the fact that we're going to be shown because after that is the festival of symbolic representation. So that we're going to be shown the uh, backstage pass at uh, what's going on. Or it could mean also that the God of the world is saying to us that he has a backstage pass uh, and access to a treasury. So it's one or the other, I'm not sure. So on the background, you see a, a hot air balloon, yellow. The yellow uh, is the color of the air element in, this, in symbolism. And the uh, God of the world is also often called the prince of hair. So, uh, uh, it might be a little inside joke on the back of the <laughs> of Katy here. So uh, next image. So we we're shown then uh, little girls with uh, hula hoops, and the hula hoop representation is uh, the ring, and the ring is uh, in all, in not all, but most of Katy Perry music video or a representation of. Um, of uh, what's the danger that we, we are in because of our incarnation in the world where the twin sister might pass through the ring. Uh, Saturn is related to, to rings. Uh, he's the Lord of the rings. So on the right, you have basketball player we, uh, who are th throwing uh, basketballs in the net. It's another ring. And so it's the, what's been shown there is the danger that we're exposed to by being incarnated. Uh, and uh, and Katy Perry music videos uh, on f 
the four that we're going to analyze, three of them have the metaphor of basketball. The most important uh, one is on that is uh, called Swish Swish that we'll, we'll take a look later on. But uh, the basketball uh, itself represents, the, again, the soul that can uh, get through the ring, then you lose the soul. So that's the whole meaning of this. Mm -hmm. uh, playful, but uh, it's describing a dim reality that we're, we're facing. So next image, please. Again, then uh, there's a, uh, a bystander that's trying to show the confused uh, Alexander. Uh, at least maybe it's that, or again, it's the left side that predominates. It means that, or it means uh, that he's showing him the direction which is up that he should be going. Because uh, that's the, I go more in details on that on the website, but uh, the, our direction should be up and not down. Uh, yeah. Makes sense. So, next image, please. Uh, so here it's, uh, it's the bride, but at the same time, I think it's uh, the God of the world that's showing that he, we're being abused because we live life the wrong way. And uh, next image uh, has a more that now we don't see really well on the image but she's making gesture like she's uh taking something away so what is being taken away is our energy by the god of the world that's what i'm mm -hmm. trying to to explain this you see better if you watch the music video but she's making a gesture like and she's making the same gesture we we'll see later on in um, the music video for dark horse at the end so the, this symbolized that our energy, again, like I said in the beginning, is getting uh, 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 stolen away from us because of wrongful living, because we're not tied enough with the... Because the, the tie we have with our twin sister is providing the protection, uh, the love relationship creates a protection that uh, is around us. And when we don't have it, uh, or energy can get uh, uh, taken away. So uh, next image. So the end of the music video, again, the bride arrives with a zebra. And the zebra is a kind of a horse that is both black and white. So again, it's uh, illustrating the meaning of the song that uh, we're, we're, we're good, but we're, we're not good enough, or we're not, we're good and bad, we have, we're not uh, active enough at being good. So we are not the white horse that we're supposed to be in the unicorn eventually, which is the mm -hmm. unifier of opposite in the middle. So we're a zebra. We're shown. So what most of us, uh, the situation we're in is we're stuck in this plane because we are uh, both uh, black and white. Uh, and on, we don't see on the image uh, because, uh, but there's a, a rainbow on the right corner hub, which uh, represents uh, the seven level. We can go up or down to get on to get out of this world. Uh, and then again, it's the, the twin sister uh, is represented by Katy Perry here, but also at the same time the god of the world that's showing us uh, what we are. So that's it for uh, this uh, music video, um, Hot and Cold. Yeah. So next one is Dark Horse, which, so it start with uh, this uh, Memphis, Egypt, a crazy long time ago. So I think that they took Memphis as a, uh, a symbol here because Memphis was the uh, cent center, uh, the capital center between upper and lower Egypt. So, and what's happening in the music video, video uh, is, about what's happening inside at the center so it might have to do with that a crazy long time ago crazy is a use another uh katy perry music video called uh, uh chain to the rhythm and what's crazy is the experience we have of duality while we are in the world so that makes us crazy so that's what's preventing the the alchemical marriage between uh, it's this one is also about that when we show we, and uh, 
I will show how it goes, why it goes wrong and uh, what's happening. Uh, we see a boat at the bottom of the screen and there's a huge green, uh, red uh, gemstone on the top of the boat that we don't see well in the image. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably, uh, so we, we can shift to the next image. On the boat, we see uh, Katy Perry. I think ISIS is often uh, associated with boats. So maybe she's personifying uh, ISIS here. But what's most important is she making uh, an index gesture pointing up and she's looking at it and saying no with her head to show that it's not accomplished. Again, it's number one, it's also the direction and it's the indexed finger. Mm -hmm. So it's the, uh, the finger we use to point at things. So I think it uh, represents, symbolize the conscious male spirit that works uh, linearly. And uh, she's making no with her head uh, to, to show that it is not accomplished. And again, later on in the music video, she makes like, she point, she makes again the same end gesture and uh, showing us that very important finger. The next, of the, the, the rest of the music videos is showing that what is happening inside uh, uh, an individual in the modern society, even more so than uh, previously in previous time. So next image, we so uh, we will see uh, later. What's this is a still from uh, the the making of of uh, the music video. Uh, dark horse where we see at the side the left uh, the side of the throne on the side of the throne that we will see there because i should have put i should have put this image later on but we have it now we see bad bitch so this is a twin sister that is being held captive on the mm -hmm. side of the throne so she's not on the throne what is replacing her is a uh, sinister or uh, the stand-in that is uh, the opposition and uh, the human uh, creature so we can take a look at the next image so we see the twin sister the blue one she is on the side of the throne she's being held captive and so what is replacing her in the place of a heart you see she, the hat that she has as a heart shape and it's uh, illuminating uh, all through the it's a mockery it's a mockery uh, of us uh, of our ineptitude uh, so, uh, what's on the throne would have took the place of the true, uh, twin sister is, a, a mockery of it is, a this, again, it's twin is sinister. So the music video shows what happens when we, uh, sacrifice on the altar of materiality, we sacrifice, uh, uh, our right side or, uh, the male principle of goodness that we are naturally. So the first courtier that comes to the court is, uh, we can shift to the next image, has a diamond in his hand and his right eye is removed because this is the diamond. Mm. And uh, so the, the, it shows the sacrifice, first sacrifice is being made is rightful spiritual vision. So that allows you to, uh, discern between right and wrong. So this is the first thing that is done is to sacrifice that. Next image shows that inside a diamond, there's a, there is a, we don't see well, but this, it's a cigar. So it's another phallic representation that to, to over, to emphasize even more that is about uh, righteousness and straightness that's being sacrificed. Uh, next image. We see she accept the sacrifice with an oversized left eye. So a lot of people think it's about Illuminati. It has nothing to do with Illuminati. <laughs> it's about the left side of the body. It's about sinister that is taking the place of the true queen that is the twin sister. Mm -hmm. uh, so, okay, so next image. Okay, she's... We don't see, but after that, she zaps the courtier with the... the the eyes yeah. removed and on the ashes of the sacrifice there's jewels appear 
and she puts them on her teeth because the teeth is the most dense part of the body, the human body, and that represents uh, materiality. Again, uh, so next image is uh, there's a fat courtier that, uh, that arrives and then he has a uh, he brings with him a pyramid of Twinkies, uh, and uh, he brings also a cup that she drinks from, and a bowl of chips. And the chips um, looks uh, really uh, a lot, lot like um, ground red meat. So, as I'm sure you know, by I know you know, a, a lot of uh, Gnostic were vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And we seem to be, uh, which we're shown there that uh, first the, the pyramid of Twinkies represents, because the pyramid represents the four elements that are being unified at the top, because there's four side to the pyramid plus the fifth side on the bottom. And when you, you ascend the pyramid, you, you're unifying the four elements into one. So, but the the pyramid is made of Twinkies, so the pyramid is not made to be eaten, it's made to be ascend, not to be eaten. Uh, uh, the, the cup represents that uh, against probably, uh, it's all about consumption and carnality mm -hmm. uh, for the second uh, sacrifice. So it may, it, it's the second pitfall we fall in once we, we've lost the rightful spiritual vision uh, is uh, carnality or uh, consumption, overconsumption. And uh, uh, yeah, so uh, that's it for this one. So the next one is the next courtier that comes as a pimped chariot uh, <laughs> yeah. with an oversized hat. And the pin picture chariot, in my view, uh, represents the human body itself that is used as a, uh, idolized and uh, used as a, an ego uh, uh, to get egoistic value uh, out of it instead of its true purpose that is uh, uh, portrayed on the chariot itself. We see that there is uh, the incarnated male spirit pointing right with his right end uh, and up and he's holding the twin sister uh, with his other hand and they're escaping the creation of the god of duality on the right so that's the true purpose of the chariot which is the human body so then again it's a sacrifice uh, next image the next courtier that arrives of the uh, the head of a a crocodile because in egyptian uh, mythology uh, symbolism the crocodile represented materiality again because of the thickness of his skin and there's a teeth also that is uh, another uh, representation of the of the of the dense this is the most dense part of the the, the body <laughs> It's really the the over. It's really all about materiality. All the, it's what, but they they're showing it in many different uh, aspects of it. But it's all refer to uh, materiality. So next we see uh, that the crocodile is transformed after the sacrifice into a haute couture handbag, <laughs> which uh, represent again superficiality and uh, shallowness and. Uh, uh, purposelessness. Uh, after that, we're shown uh, into we're in a crypt. Then Kathy is making is putting her feet uh, at the top of uh, her head, and that's again a mockery that shows that what was the lowest point has been brought up to the highest point. Mm -hmm. And after that, we don't have the picture, but uh, she makes a split on the floor. And that's representing that there's an inner split between the male spirit and the twin sister. So next image. Uh, so then we see that, like I said, uh, it's the same end movement she's making that we've seen and uh, we've seen in the hot and cold when she's taking away. So uh, 
but we don't we didn't see it but uh, in the music video that, that represents the god of the world that is rising at the top of the pyramid instead of us and taking our energy and souls and after that the next image we see him taking his flight getting ready to take his flight uh the 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 this one has to be understood with the now we only have we only analyzing the uh, the images but the the lyrics goes with it and uh, together it gives a a complete uh uh revelation of, of something uh, now we're only doing the the visual for this show because it will be a uh, a bit tedious to do uh, the lyric but uh yeah so so what she said actually so you want to play with magic boy you should know what you're falling for are you sure you're ready to do this because i'm falling because uh, i'm coming at you like a dark horse uh, so that's it so next image we see and then this the mock queen that is getting ready for her unification with uh, the her Ida, Ida idealized uh, protector male spirit, and uh, so she's getting out of the throne and she's walking towards uh, the the her protector that's gonna ever ascend the pyramid. And next picture we can see that. There's no uh, the idolized idolized protector is not there because uh, he has been sacrificed because of wrongful doing wrong life uh, uh, life living the wrong way is only a little lap dog for the uh, establishment so that that is showing conformity leads to that conformity to the the ways of the world leads mm. to be a little lap dog like that that cannot ever ascend the pyramid so during the music video uh our true queen which is the twin sister is being mocked uh, and uh she's being held responsible for all of this even if she's not really on the throne so that's the whole mockery it's a, it's a complex thing that's difficult to explain uh but uh that's at least, at least that's my view on what it is how do you say dog in french she Chien? Uh, chien, why ouais, chien? In Portuguese, it's cow. <laughs> Just <laughs> interesting, romantic, and of course, the Spanish yeah. is perro. Completely different words in three mm -hmm. romantic languages. I don't even know what it is in Italian. Vance, do you know? Uh, yeah. The dog. <laughs> the dog. Yeah. Luca, the dog. Okay. <laughs> so uh, that's it for uh, Dark Horse. So the, the next one is called This is. Uh, how we do uh, this is how we do the title be, means both uh, this is how we humans do wrong and also this is how we do uh, this is how the archons do at taking our energy mm. uh, so what we see the first shot is a man which is uh, middle age and he's uh contemplating uh kind of a, inside of a frame where the, and the, we get inside the frame so that uh, represents the incarnation or reincarnation because the man is old so uh, probably it's reincarnation so next image we're shown um Katie making a breakfast and the breakfast is pancake with uh, uh, on the right is a carton of milk the pancake uh, we see in a later shot on the video as a, a, a huge chunk of butter on the top that is melting. Uh, we don't have the image, but uh, it's later in the music video. Uh, and the carton of milk is two. Uh, the two are both uh, animal product that are high in fat. So just uh, and the color blue too is there. Uh, uh, so in next image, so she says Ch Chanel this, Chanel that, hell yeah, uh, while she make a cross on her heart with her arm. And uh, Chanel is really more channel, like channeling. 
And we see again the, the end bags that are a symbol of shallowness and purposelessness. And um, okay, so yeah, the, this one is not about the, the, the lyrics are not really important. They give a, a portrait of uh, being lost in the search of, uh, of pleasures, uh, worldly pleasures and uh, devoid of spirituality. So while at the on the surface the music video gives the the impression of uh, of uh, being the promotion of having fun with your friends and all of that and the subtext is the opposite of that so next image uh, so yeah so they say she says it's no big deal it's no big deal and we see pizza being uh, eaten away so the deal in question is uh, is uh, the deal we're making while because uh, this is again like the butter on the pancake or the milk, the pizza is fat. So it's again fat that we take from animals, and the same thing is being done to us uh, in exchange by the archon. Mm. Uh, we are being uh, robbed of our uh, spiritual energy that is akin to fat. And uh, that is what is... The, so the deal is only little deals, uh, but repeated over and over and over and over. So this is karmic. They are karmic deals that uh, we have to uh, uh, face the, the, the situation. So next image is... Uh, Again, basketballs. Again, with uh, the ring again, and uh, the guy, uh, the basketball player, and the blue color on the background. Uh, so that's it for this one. Next one. So okay, so she has again. She says in the making up, like I said in the beginning, that God is in the details. She has uh, pizza earrings, a pizza swimsuit pizza fingernails, and she's holding a slice of watermelon. And we've seen in uh, Hot and Cold that the watermelon represents the heart. So the heart is being slowly taken away and eaten away by us, by wrongful living, by karmic, uh, uh, karmic uh, comeback at us. She has the left, uh, left arm up, she has the left leg on the top of the right leg. Uh, the color at the uh, bottom, uh, the sorry, at the uh, is blue at the behind her. And uh, the armchair too is important because it represents spiritual laz laziness at doing good. And uh, her sunglasses have two hearts, which the heart is normally a symbol of unification. And now it's being turned into a symbol of uh, duality, which uh, means that uh, we have two hearts uh, in our minds. We have the heart that is our true heart and the heart that is the exterior material world. <laughs> Sorry, I had to I had to quote it. Somebody said Elvis, so I had to put him up there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, people are really enjoying in the chat room. They're loving your work and okay, they're putting some good. Uh, good ideas too. Very smart people. But yeah, the the feedback is very positive. So please. Okay, keep going. that's that's great. I'm glad to know that because uh, Vance I... might have to change his name because it seems they've been bashing the word the the dog animal. But oh well. <laughs> yeah, well, I think the we have to cat. face this. Uh, we have to face uh, this Moon Perry or something, <laughs> <laughs> or Moon Melon. There, there you go. There you go. The Moon Melon, the heart <laughs> chakra. So. Moon Melon. Well, we have to face uh, seriously what's being told there because uh, it's magic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Okay, so next one. Okay, so we see again it's uh, sinister because they're sitting on the left end, all of them, and they're showing their to manicure their left end, which is showing again that the left side is predominating. It's sinister. 
There's uh, also like there in water, because uh, water is an element that is alien to our inner sun. And it's used, uh, we'll see it later on in uh, other music videos. Yeah. And the men are dressed like Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, and they're... Great uh, masturbator and uh, childlike. Yeah. Right? <laughs> the males are subservient in the, um, no. in the music video. And that's another... This this one is really complex, the symbolism of it. Uh, even like I find every time I watch it, new meanings in it. So I'm just giving the most important ones that right, relates right, to our... Course. Yeah. Uh, so next next one. So yeah, uh, this one is uh, a reference to uh, an artist that's called the, his name uh, Pit, Peter Mondrian uh, that made uh, that was accused of making uh, cold uh, abstract art, and so that represents being too much in one head uh, and uh, devoid of the heart. Uh, and so this is over, this is emphasized by Cathy's address um, that is uh, again showing like uh, that the head is the problem, uh, not being in touch uh, enough with the heart. So next one. So you can see here the suspended in time uh, and uh, the girl at the, the left has a 666 on her uh, shirt plus a happy oh, smile yeah. and a, a yin yang uh symbol on as a hearing to uh emphasize duality so next oh uh, yeah so she's making uh and gesture like the like scissors and the like it uh it alludes to separateness and of uh, this number two to his duality of not being in touch with the heart and not being in touch with the twin sister she's looking up to and uh, uh, that's being detached from her uh, twin sister so on the surface it's about having fun but uh, the music video uh, as actually says the opposite is that this fun that we're having this worldly pleasure are uh, uh, separating us from our twin sister that is the soul so next one i think is another uh, no okay this one is the the game of bottle we, we're seeing a game of bottle and uh, all the the elements are uh animal fat the ice cream the pizza the the sandwich uh, ice cream and the ice cream are all uh, animal fat. So they represent sins in general too. And the uh, bottle itself uh, represents uh, our male conscious mind, again, the, the incarnated male spirit, because it functions linearly. So it's always going to the love of the, what it alludes to is that the love of the male spirit always goes to exterior uh, material things and sins instead of the watermelon. And there's a shot, I don't have it on the picture, of the watermelon slice uh, holding the bottle with, uh, with a sad look in his face. Mm -hmm. uh, so that represent again that the, the heart never wins, at the, or the soul never wins, that the, the attention of the male spirit is uh, always uh, attracted to the outside world instead of inside. So next one. So at the end of the music, near the end, uh, we see Cathy, she's making, and this is hard to see with a still, but uh, she's making end gesture of pushing something down, like something is repressed. And at the, on the surface, everything is going fine, but something is being repressed. And they're all pointing to their left with the, the group behind, again, sinister. And she has also an earring on the, her left ear with the seven color of the rainbow, which is uh, uh, in relation to what we've seen uh, at the end of the Atenko music video about the seven levels we have to go up or down, the seven deadly scenes, all of this. So next one. So at the end, uh, the old man is a uh, middle-aged man is uh, 
getting up to leave and she said no 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 bring the bead back and we get back into uh the frame so it signifies that reincarnation against being stuck in the cycle of reincarnation because the alchemical wedding is never accomplished uh so next one a little quote by Graham pong makes sense yeah uh yeah so at the end so we see that everything is back she's back on the the lazy chair the armchair and no harm but the the long chair and she has again her left arm up her right arm down and there are uh, the sins that occupy the space uh, uh, we see the one on the right is alluding to sexuality mm -hmm. Uh, so all of that is is what it's saying is that this is how we do is uh, how we do like I said in the beginning is how we do us uh, human and it's also how the archons do at taking away our uh, spiritual energy resources so the last image I think we see uh, the watermelon slice left alone in the dark and uh, after all the sins are have departed, uh, she, so again, it's, it's again cannot be. Uh, I hope everybody understand cannot be uh, just coincidence that there's a watermelon there. She has a watermelon in her hand. There's a watermelon and hot and cold. It's all linked. So it's all masterminded, and very, very, very thoughtful. We have being uh, uh, offered to us a complete revelation of things we don't know normally. And we have to take advantage of that because it's a lot. There's a lot of mockery in it, but it's not just mockery. Uh, in my view, uh, there's may, probably four reasons for what, uh, why they do that. Uh, the first one will be uh, uh, as a metaphysical warning. The second one will be. Uh, uh metaphysical warning like what telling us don't go there don't ask questions yeah like or... uh, something they have to do uh and the other one would be to compensate for the evil they do mm -hmm. by telling us truth um the third one would be uh mockery and the fourth one will be um the god of the world inner duality which is i think uh uh and a possible explanation of that. So I'll, for me, there will be these four reasons, uh, mm -hmm. main reasons for uh, why they do this revelation. But we have to to uh, take advantage of it and shift things from where we're going to something else. I think that if the, the decoding of popular music becomes a, a mainstream, things will have to change. They already have, are changing, uh, uh, but uh, it will help in that direction for a better, uh, maybe a golden age or something like that. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So next one. So this one is called uh, Chain to the Rhythm. And uh, it's the first shot is uh, the entrance to a, an amusement park amusement park called Oblivia and uh, uh, I think Oblivia is uh, representing the world itself and life in the world where we become oblivious of or uh, being oblivious means uh, not be is a state of not being aware of what is going on so that's how it's defined in the dictionary and it's also uh, a fact uh, about being forgetful of your or true nature, a spiritual nature. So mm -hmm. the Oblivia theme park is the world itself. That is uh, like an amusement park, but it, um, on this under the surface is uh, we'll see what it is. Uh, next next shot. Uh, so there's a, a the the main ride of the Oblivia is called the Amster ride, and we can see the. The, the people waiting in line to get into the uh, the Amster ride. 
And on the meter of the Amsterite, the, the number I show 1984 is a reference to George Orwell's uh, famous uh, dystopian book. And uh, on the surface, the, the music video is about a kind of critique of uh, the, the American way of life and its pitfalls. But I think it's a lot more than that. It's about uh, how the world itself is um, like 1984. Like mm -hmm. there's a control in a, uh, a totalitarian control by the archons uh, behind the scene of what's going on. So we see that uh, the, um, the hamster is inside a wheel, but it's also a ring. Mm -hmm. It's again like uh, the famous ring that's related to Saturn again. So the next uh, image. So this is the, the, the single for uh, Chain to the Rhythm by Katy Perry. <clears throat> so we can see that she's looking at uh through a hand so it means seeing by way of this the spiritually by way of the human experience itself and they're kind of a rose colored um uh the inside of the 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 kind of glasses there there's a color uh pink sorry not rose the rose is french no. uh, pink because uh uh again the rose that is uh or heart, so it means trying to see the exterior, uh, like if it was the interior, like looking exteriorly to find what's inside. Uh, and we see that uh, at the top of her hands are little horns, which alludes to our state of duality living this life. And also there's a, an absent-mindedness. Uh, and on the, the side, we can see that it's basketball nets. So chained to the rhythm is uh, what we find ourselves in living this life. We're chained to the rhythm. Yeah. I'll explain more in details the the lyric in the on the website. So next one. So one of the first attraction that we see in Oblivia is called the Great American Drop. And America doesn't refer really to America, the country. It refers to the new world that is um, the universe we find, the phenomenal universe we find ourselves in now in uh, relation to the old world that was prime, what I call prime creation uh, uh, from which we have fallen. So the American dream uh, that we'll see the next, what it is, it's Little Owls. Next, next picture shows what it is. Oh, no. Uh, okay, maybe we don't have it. Sorry, I forgot to put it. Uh, but what it what it is the attraction is little house getting raised up, and uh, we see couples getting inside of it, and they get raised up, and then they get uh, fall they fall back down. So it's uh, alluding to uh, the life of imitation again uh, mm. about uh, uh, where uh, men and women are playing an imitation of a process that should be happening uh, in, inward. Not, and I, I don't mean to put down uh, if you have special someone in your life, like it's not about that. I understand things are complex, but we have to approach these things as philosophers and see what it means. Mm. Uh, uh, the little houses uh, are uh, uh, a mockery, again, that we are being, we have an, instinct, an instinctual high, like a drug high, by uh, falling in love and we being raised up by living the uh, kind of imitative process that should be happening inside. And we're being dropped down uh, in real term later on. So as she walk, as she's walking in the um, Oblivia theme park, Katy is uh, having a, a pink uh, hair. And the pink again is the color that refers to the the twin sister because she's oblivious she doesn't know that she thinks that she's in a uh, she's looking outside for what's inside and she also probably because she's oblivious 
and this happens, I mentioned it on the, the website, it happens often to women that they, they believe that they are their heart, that they are the, the, the twin sister. This is a form of uh, egocentrism that women have. Uh, so late in the next picture we see she, uh, so again, the rose symbology, symbolism. Uh, she's smelling rose, and the rose have uh, barbed wa our barbed wire. We can see in the next image that there are actually barbed wire. Uh, yeah, next next image. Uh, yeah, they're barbed wire like a maximum security prison. Uh, so this uh, exp this uh, refers against to the fact that the world and on the surface happens to uh, appears to us like an amusement park, but in fact. It's not that at all. We're prisoners here. Mm. So the next image. Uh, okay, though, there, the, the house are there from American Drop. So the little house are being brought, bring, uh, brought up and then down. So that's the missing pictures we didn't have earlier. So next one. So there's another uh, attraction that's called the Love Me Ride. That is a roller coaster. And... Uh, so the, the man is called Simon and the woman Rose again, another reference to Rose, which is the twin sister. And uh, so the Love Me Ride, uh, next image shows. Uh, yeah, interesting. Yeah, Simon, yeah. I'm getting Simon Megas Rose. W.B. Yates always used the word Rose for his code for Sophia. So inversion, but just thought mm. I'd mention that. And Simon Rose might be a, a, a wordplay on simulation on Rose. Sign on mm -hmm. rose. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So love me validation station. The validation station again is where we we are validating uh, our uh, human identities of uh, gender that are artificial and fake in a way. Uh, so by validating these fault these fake uh, identities, we are risking of losing our true one, that is the twin sister. So the next one. So the another attraction is called No Place Like Home, where a participant gets uh, catapulted from out from Oblivia, and that uh, again is uh, uh, a reference to what awaits uh, the participants uh, in human life by uh, living a life of imitation too long. They're getting. Uh, catapulted out of uh, <laughs> Oblivia. Uh, next one, I think is, yeah. So this one is Inferno H2O, where uh, they're drinking uh, water out of uh, like uh, a gas station and the water is on fire. So I think it refers to the fact that uh, water itself is an element that uh, that is uh, uh, alien to our uh, true spiritual nature and is dragging us down to hell eventually if we're not really careful. So next image. So after that, she, she Kathy goes assist to a show that's called Nuclear Family Show in 3D and where we see a, a traditional uh, family uh, with the dad uh, reading his newspaper and the woman and the little child playing. And so it's a show in 3D that, that, that alludes to the fact that what giving the the cons the 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 real the 3D effect of that uh, of that uh, show that uh, again is a life of imitation because the woman represents the twin sister, the man represents the male spirit, and the baby represents the soul. And so uh, what's giving this uh, 3D aspect to the, the show is uh, the altered perception of the mind that is incarnated. So they all they all see it with 3D uh, glasses. So next one. Uh, so this is the hamster ride again with the, the ring and the hamster inside. It's, it's the greatest ride in the universe. The greatest ride in the universe is human life itself. Next one. The hamster ride. Hmm. So she's uh, 
at the end of the music video, she's in the ring or the wheel, and she's stopping. So because the, we're running in the wheel, then the metaphor is that we life we're living is a uh, kind. We're running inside of a wheel like the hamster. We're not going anywhere because we're living a life of imitation, and we're not accomplishing the true purpose of our um, for. Uh, incarnation which is the unifi the unifying with uh, the twin sister so the next image uh, yeah so we can see clearly but uh, they are uh, the the crowd is uh, running uh, is turning round and round and round again like i'm stirring a wheel around Katy while she sings uh, we are all chained to the rhythm uh, so that's the end for this one the next one okay so this one is the music video is not really interesting only the beginning which shows again um this one is called swish swish and the swish swish is the sound that the basketball is making when he's passing through the ring uh but it so i said at the same time it's switch switch because it's, it's talking about the the lyrics and the what's referred to is a changing of the guards from the true guardian of the twin sister which is our incarnated male spirit to the forces of, of uh to the archons and, the, and we can see that the the power of the archons is i think that's what it symbolized here is made out of the the captured souls uh, um, because they're pu uh, their pure potential and they can serve i think it might be a bit of a stretch, but I think this is what it represents here. But the switch, switch, and the, at the beginning, there's a, a dark, uh, not a dark, a bass voice that says, they know what is what, but they don't know what is what, they just strut. And it's the same voice that is in Dark Horse, uh, mm -hmm. the same bass voice that is in uh, This Is How We Do at the end of the song. And uh, this refers to the God of the world. So he's saying to us that we know what is what in the, in the sense that we've been told one way or the other by the religions of the world or that uh, there is heaven, hell, there is a, a devil, there is we have a soul, we have a... But we know, we know what is what, but we don't really know it. Most of us don't really know it's true or the, they don't really know it. So we know what is what, but we don't know what is what. And we just trot, which means being inflated with oneself and the ego bubble. So um, next image shows us uh, that the match of basketball is between the sheep, which is, uh, which is uh, referring to, uh, to us, uh, and the uh, tigers are the archons. Uh, so I think that's it for Katy Perry. That's all we have from her. Oh yeah, that, that's, the, that's an important one too. This is the single for Swish Swish which shows a, a feminine hand, which, rep which represents the matrix or the demiurge, because it seems like more like a male hand when you uh, look uh, closely. And uh, she's uh, giving a bill. Uh, and on the bill is written for karma, for coffee, tea, for, for karma, coffee, and tea. Oh, wow. Um, so, and the blue color again is the color that uh, symbolizing being deprived from the, tw the twin sister, the color that is ge generated by being cold and uh, too much in one's head instead of linked with the heart. Uh, so the swish wish again is the loss of the twin sister or soul to the powers behind the scene. And we're being shown that. Uh, so that's a clear, uh, to me, it's really clear, but uh, I understand it's not for everybody because I, I, I've done that my whole life. Uh, mainly with cinema, I started to decipher and uh, study cinema since I'm 16 years old. But uh, it's not that hard. Once you have the, the cold, uh, the, the Rosetta yeah, yeah. Stone to decode everything, it's uh, all uh, pretty obvious stuff in my view. So I think we finished for Katy Perry. Okay, so this is one still I got from, because I, I wanted to put it because uh, George Harrison is really important uh, uh, 
in this. Uh, but uh, he has one video that's really important. This is a video for uh, when we was fab, which is supposed to be about the Beatles, but is in fact about a fall from prime creation. Mm -hmm. And this this one is called um, "I Got My Mind Set on You," right. and the lyrics of the chorus is I, "I Got My Mind Set on You." He repeats that a few times, but it's gonna take money, a whole lot spending money. It's gonna take plenty of money to doing to do it right, child. It's gonna take time, all this precious time to do it right, and nobody seems to ask themselves what is he talking about, like. Uh, uh, why? Why? Uh, why is it? Is he talking about a woman? Why is it gonna take so much money to do it right? Uh, why he calls her a child? He's a forty-something-year-old man on this uh, at this time. Yeah. So once you, when you understand that it's truly, it truly is the God, of the world speaking directly at us on this one. And he's taking, he's telling us a dual message, a uh, double meaning message. So at the same time, he's telling us that it's going to take a lot of money to do it right. It means to accomplish the money again. Like I said in the beginning, is the is a represents our spiritual energy resources. So it's going to take a lot of it to accomplish what we have to accomplish on, which is the uh, the alchemical marriage. So he said it's gonna take uh, money, all lot, all all lot of spending money. It's gonna take plenty of money to do it right, Shai. It's gonna take time, all this precious time to do it right. And he's at the same time saying the opposite that it's gonna take a lot of careless spending of that money, so that he can through he uh, can um, rightfully, rightfully take our uh, uh, our soul rightfully. To do it right so it's telling the boat at the same time and we can see on the walls that there are hunting trophies uh, so we're dealing with a hunter here and at the beginning uh, the dog brings him uh, red slippers which are often associated with the god of the world mm. on the back there is uh, swords above the chimney which probably alludes to the duality of the god and at the top uh, of the chimney, there is a, a portrait that is snapping at some point of video uh, the beat with his uh, uh, left hand. So that's for uh, George Harrison. Uh, he has another one important that's called uh, All Those Years Ago. And it's supposed to be about John Lennon. It's really about the God of the world. You can find out on my website. Uh, when you examine examine it uh, any other way than superficially, it cannot be about John Lennon. Uh, so next image. Okay, so this is the music video for uh, China Girl by David Bowie. So a China Girl is another is often a symbol that represents the twin sister again, because she is another in another hemisphere. And uh, she's on the left. She's supposed to be on the left side. Uh, and uh, so uh, often, you will see if you go to my website, uh, it always comes back to a uh, Asian girl or a Japanese girl or a China girl. So this is originally a Iggy Pop song, and we can see on the core, on the on the top, on the margin. Uh, what might be a uh, 666 uh, all uh, around. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is not for sure, but this may be what it means. Uh, you, you have the, the barbed wire that represents that the China girl isn't free. So we're a prisoner here. This is what the this music video is about. So next image. So we see the China girl. She's running in the desert. The desert often represents the world itself, that is like a desert. The red flag is the flag of Agape and the prime creation that she's carrying through. Um, next one. So we see that the distinguished gentleman, which, which uh, uh, symbolize being the conformity to, uh, to the ways of the world, is killing our heart and soul. So that's why the that's what the distinguished Bowie as a distinguished gentleman represents here. He's shooting her in the head. 
Uh, next one. So at some point in the video, he's throwing away uh, the bowl of rice of the China girl. The rice here represents again the energy uh, resource, spiritual energy resource that are being carelessly spent by the incarnated male spirit uh, living the life in the world. Uh, next one. So at the end of the music video, we see Bowie with an imitation, a material imitation of the China girl on the beach. So the beach is another uh, metaphor that comes back uh, all the time uh, uh, in uh, popular music and uh, in the, in the esoteric of popular music to describe um, being uh, at idol at uh, at uh, Idleness at a spiritual level, on a spiritual level. Uh, being at the beach where everything is fine and you're not doing anything. So, And uh, the China girl we can see on the next image, she's watching Bowie on the beach with the fake imitation of her. And she's trying to, to, to be like the fake. So she's the soul and the heart. And she's trying, she, that's why she put uh, makes up, makeup on to try to be like the, the fake. And it doesn't work because Bowie is at the, the beach with the imitation. And so she removes, we can see on the image, but she removes uh, her lipstick with her hand, uh, which uh, alludes at her uh, losing, uh, 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 losing, uh, how can I say that? <laughs> My English is not so good. No, it's uh, been great. <laughs> uh, she's a... Uh, stopping to have hope to unifying unifying with him right. so because the mouth is the or the organ of the body that we unify with so she's uh she's doing that with her on her mouth so she's giving up giving up uh or wanting uh unifying with him because he's too stupid so that's the end for china girl so the next one, very important, is the Day In, Day Out by David Bowie. Uh, the first shot shows uh, an angel, a white angel and a black angel filming a baby on the, on a, on the steps. Uh, this, again, is a duality. Uh, uh, it refers to the fact that uh, everything that happens uh, to us, incarnated is recorded by the forces of good and evil. So the next next picture, we see the first. Uh, after that, we see uh, a woman with a child that's going to be the the hero of, of the the music video, and she is holding a child in there, and she seems lost in a kind of downtown crowded nightlife, and the baby holds a. Uh, a little lollipop that is in the shape of the heart is to mm. symbolize that is exactly what we see is the heart, the twin sister with the baby soul. So they're uh, kind of lost in the downtown crowded night, crowded nightlife of outside of prime creation. So next image, we see that the God of the world here represent uh, David Bowie represent the God of the world and he is as a teardrop under his right eye, uh, which means that because, that, like I, I said in the beginning, the God himself, that's what is, um, seems to be the case, is in duality. He puts us in a duality uh, experience and he's himself in duality. So his right eye is finding the situation of the twin sister sad and his left eye doesn't. So next one. So it's another representation here of the twin sister because she's often portrayed in um, the esoteric of popular music as uh, behind a kind of a, a, a security glass or a, a security protection that she can see through. And again, we see the heart on the boot and uh, kind of an angel in the heart again. And we see two uh, handicapped uh, men uh, trying to raise trouble for the... The woman and the boot, which alludes, I think, to uh, malevolent spirits uh, outside of uh, in the unseen that are uh, uh, um, creating problem for the twin sister, 
while we are incarnated and not realizing that. Uh, next one. So we see that the, the God has his uh, left hand up, which means that he is referring that uh, uh, to, again, that sinister predominates and that is the cause for uh, the problem of the twin sister. The lyrics are important in this one too. We don't analyze the lyrics to have the full meaning. We have to understand the lyrics too, but we know we just uh, analyze the images for now. So next one. We see after that that the twin sister is forced to uh, some kind of uh, spiritual pr prostitution with uh, with uh, and I think that uh, it's referring to commerce with spirits uh, and it's, it's a whole uh, incredible uh, revelation there uh, about things we don't know at all that the struggle of our twin sister to just uh, uh, survive in this crowded uh, nightlife. So next one. So we can see that the, the here the, the male guy that we see in the music video represent the incarnate and male spirit. And he's occupied listening to a kind of a, a radio, uh, which refers to the artificial input of the matrix while the, the the twin sister is raising the child which is the soul on her own so he's not implicated in the in the raising up of the child the next one well at the end of the music video uh the 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 kind of police force uh, bust the house of the the couple and uh, the man is escape. He has white powder on him, which represents uh, escapism. Uh, it's all a, crit uh, a, a harsh uh, critique of the incarnated of our incarnated male spirit in this one. Uh, and uh, the the lyrics say they out, they, they in, they out, stay in, or fade out. So stay in is about being in touch with your heart, with your twin sister and link with her and not seeking outside for exterior uh, pleasure, exterior um, gratification. Uh, I don't know if it's clear uh, the meaning uh, with just the, these images. I hope it is for if you, if you was one, if the viewers want to uh, learn more, they can go to the website and do a complete decipherment. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. There's a lot more. Yeah, this is we're just sort of touching on it. But yeah, your website. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. A very deep, a deeper dive where people can take their time and read. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So next one. Okay, this one is called um, Ashes to Ashes. It's a very famous uh, Bowie song. Mm -hmm. It's uh, refer uh, the, the, the subject of the song is referring to an older song from Bowie, which is called uh, Space Oddity. Uh, which has um, um, a male, uh, 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 a man uh, in space uh, while he is speaking to uh, what, uh, the ground control. And uh, so uh, this uh, people uh, think it's about uh, drug use. It's not really about that. It's about, again, about the incarnated male spirit having his uh, experience uh, in the bubble of the human uh, consciousness while his art is on the ground. And this song is the same. It's about the same. So we see the rose color, the pink hue again. Uh, he's at the beach and he's uh, holding in his hand a portrait of uh, 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 his real situation. He's in a lunatic asylum. <laughs> so next image, we see just that, I think. He's in the lunatic asylum. Uh, the moon is often um, used to describe uh, uh, duality and um, uh, because uh, uh, by like being a lunatic, right. Luna is moon, uh, right. and he's, he's really he's in lunatic asylum. Uh, yeah. So next image. So we see that now he's portrayed as uh, Pierrot Lalune in French, which is uh, 
Peter uh, Stone of the Moon is. Uh, he's dressed exactly like that, Pierre Oulalune. And he's uh, being followed oh. by a uh, uh, bulldozer, which alludes to the fact that his actions are destructive. And he doesn't know about it because he's uh, uh, he's living life unsuspectedly. Is, uh, so he's in the moon. He's, uh, and French, uh, being dans la lune, in the moon, means to be distracted. Uh -huh, interesting. Yeah. So next one. Uh, he's be, he receives a flash of light and is hurt on his left arm. Again, sinister. The next image. So we can see the true uh, situation of the twin sister here is like uh, in the movie The Matrix, very similar. She's plugged in with uh, tubes and... Uh, so that's the true situation. While the male spirit, Pierrot, is living the life in the bubble of the human head. So, like I said in the beginning, everything has a cost for our, our essential being that we, we do on the world. So that's what it means here. So next image. So we see here another representation of the twin sister, which has now become very old. That represent, and she's trying to reason. Piero, he doesn't want to hear anything. She has become whole. It's a metaphor to represent the fact that she has lost uh, her uh, spiritual energy, her youth. Uh, and she has become very whole. Mm -hmm. uh, and Piero doesn't want to uh, listen to what she's saying. He's at the beach. So next one. Oh, this is another one. This is... Uh, we sh we sh shifting from David Bowie to Blur. The song is called Park Life. And uh, this is the, the beginning of the music video starts with that image of a glass of beer, Park Life. So the, park, the, the glass of beer is, a, again, a metaphor for escapism from one true situation that we are in, in this world. We are the gates of hell. And so... Uh, Park life uh, means life in the park, like in the theme park of uh, Oblivia we saw earlier. Right. It means uh, life at park. Park mode uh, means being idle spiritually, not doing any effort uh, to work at our ascension. And uh, park is also pork life, pork loving filthy things. So it's a harsh, uh, again, uh, statement on, on us by uh, the powers behind the scene. So next image, we, the lyrics of the song uh, are, are important. We don't cover right now, but so we see that he's eating ice cream. Again, this, the symbolism of ice cream that refers to uh, sins in general. Also the fat uh, karma, because it's really fat taken from animals. And the same is being done to us. It also refers to the frozen state of the heart, I think, uh, because of uh, wrongful living. So he has his left hand up, again, a sinister, predominating. Um, so, okay. But the really important, most important thing in the music video is that at the end, we see a couple, the next image. And uh, they're... So a man and a woman. The man is called Ken and the woman is called Cindy. And they're on a car that is on park mode. Uh, the man is being Ken because it's, it's really is con. He's the one who is being con. And the other woman is another man, in fact. And she's called Cindy for sin because we live in sin or synthesis. Mm -hmm. Um so that's, again, the imitation life that we're living. And we are really on park mode. We're not really doing any, most of us, any effort uh, to work at our ascension and, uh, and, and uh, successfully doing the alchemical marriage that must happen inward between the male spirit and the soul, the feminine soul. Uh, so next image, we get a close-up of Ken, and he's making the OK sign with Cindy at his side. 
and it's really also making the 666 and gesture which is the number that uh, uh, of human the human condition uh, so that's it for uh, park life i think uh, so this is another, this is a Eurythmics music video called uh, uh, There Must Be an Angel. Yeah, so we're not going to analyze the lyrics, but the music video itself is interesting. It shows us a king, that means all of us, uh, male spirits incarnated and from prime creation, we're all kings. We're all from royal lineage. And he's uh, having a, a show uh, presented to him. So we see next image what the show is. It's uh, we see we don't see it on the image, but there's a bird, uh, a, a, an actor per, personifying a bird, and another one. Uh, more importantly, the unicorn. And we haven't touched the subject of the unicorn, but it's really important uh, symbol, uh, uh, and, uh, because the the unicorn represents the unifier, we, which unifies in the middle the two horns of duality and the center and it's aligned with the third eye too that is uh inside the yeah. so uh or the pineal gland some of yeah the pineal gland pineal. exactly uh so he's being shown this spectacle and he doesn't really think nothing of it so next image we see him uh, he's uh He's being he just he's gonna he's falling asleep a little bit later on this after this image, so he's not interested by the the prospect of becoming the unicorn. That's what it's meaning, because he's egoistic and selfish, and uh, he's not he doesn't want to get into the action and the world of uh, of being the unicorn. So, so that's that's again a uh, a harsh statement on all of us, on, on most of us, that the fact yeah. that we're not working enough at our ascension and our, our unification. So the next image. At the end of the show, the king goes on stage, and a, a gift box is open, and a blue, uh, uh, a blue white bird gets out of the box, and the white bird represents the twin sister that is at risk, that the king is at risk of losing. Uh, because of his inaction and his uh, selfishness and egoistic behavior. So the next image shows the him is throwing uh, pieces of gold at the screen to show that he is really spending carelessly his uh, spiritual energy. Uh, and at the next image, he's making a... Uh, um, uh, a wink at the viewer is closing, shutting his right eye. So we go back to the Katy Perry. Uh, if you remember uh, the Katy Perry, mm -hmm. the first thing that was sacrificed was the right full vision. So he's closing the right eye and he has the twin sister, white bird on his shoulder. And to, to really emphasize, and he's supposed that the supposed Sun King, you know, like Louis XIV, but in fact, he it's a mockery that he's not that at all and uh, to over emphasize that it's really important if you the next image they they uh he's winking a second time with uh they really make a close-up on his eye and he's winking a second time at the viewer because it's about him and uh so right eye uh, again uh very important sorry Oh yeah, okay. You can yeah, you can go to the other one. So this is True Blue by Madonna. Uh, so the True Blue again is the color blue that is generated by being uh, uh, distracted from uh, the the heart and soul. Uh, so we see that the music video, the 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 light of the the music video is artificial. It's uh, the artificial light of the matrix we're in. And um, this one is incredible. When I found that out, it was, it's amazing <laughs> that we're shown these kind of things and we don't see it because we're, yeah. uh, we don't. We, the thing is, we, we see what we expect to see and what we are conditioned to see. We don't see what isn't really shown to us. 
Uh, so uh, next image, we see uh, Madonna's Carister. They have all have uh, uh, anchor chiefs that are in uh, gradual uh, shades of blue, from light blue to bluer to, to, do, to true blue. And she herself has a black anchor chief, which is really important. Why a black? And she wears black earring, as we'll see in a later shot. Um, so the true blue is uh, is about, we can see the next image, I'll, I'll explain further. So they're seen at the diner. Diner is a metaphor again for cost consumption. So the cost of living this life for our essential uh, uh, twin sister, the reserve, the energy, spiritual energy reserve of the of the twin sister are being spent in the matrix. Um, so next image. So we see that they're in a white car, like in the blur. Uh, uh, Park life. There was a white car. It's often a white car to use uh, because we're supposed the white horse. the The, the car symbolizes uh, the human vehicle itself. So we can see that the girls that are really boys, because we're all male spirit incarnated, are asleep, and they are. Uh, yeah. So next in next image, very important. If you have to watch the music video, you will see that they pass their left end above their right arm to show that again that sinister the left is predominating and and uh, get, and um, is uh, taking over the right side and after that after they pass their their hand uh, their left hand on the right arm they make a cross on their heart and they point in front of them and say true blue baby i love you uh, mm -hmm. The true blue, again, is about choosing the exterior instead of the interior, of falling in love with the outside world instead of our true love, which is inside. Uh, so next image. Oh, no. There you go. Okay, so now she's talking about, uh, about her love, uh, and she has a black handkerchief, which refers to spiritual darkness. Why not blue, white, black? Black is really a connotated color. You don't put black like just like that. The black and blue are very important. Uh, they, they, they come off often in lyrics too, uh, of songs, uh, black and blue together. Blue is again like uh, the cold color that has been generated by the male spirit being, uh, uh, being uh, cut from his heart. And the black is spiritual darkness, and it refers also to planet Saturn. And she has also earrings that are black. So rings is a, that's why women uh, wear earrings is because uh, they have to listen to their gods, their god, Saturn. Uh, so next one. So there's kind of a sunset on the background, which represents the twin sister the inner sun that is falling down while she's looking exteriorly to find. And she, they're making turns. She's turning around on herself and they all turn around. Turning around is another uh, reference to planet Saturn. So next image. At the end of the music video, she winks her right eye. Uh, again, right full spiritual vision. So it's a mockery on us, the old music video. Mm -hmm. Because we're falling in love with the world instead of being in love with the the, the treasure that we have inside exactly. that is being taken away from us. So, uh, and after she, well, after or before she does the wing, she does a, a turn on herself again, because the 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 metaphor is that we're we're turning our, around, we're not going anywhere. When you turn around, you're you're just turning on, around on yourself. That's what she's she's doing during the music video. She's always turning around on herself. So it means uh, it's a reference to us that that's what we're doing. We're not uh, uh, going in a straight line. We're supposed to be straight uh, forward. We're not supposed to be going round and round because we're lost in in cycles of repetitions. The Ouroboros, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So next one. 
Oh, okay. This is the last one. This is uh, The Blood of Eden by Peter Gabriel. Mm, speaking of. Uh, <laughs> it's a very uh, important one uh, to understand. Uh, I'm not, uh, I don't even uh, give all the, me because I don't understand it all, like, like what we see on the, I'm not sure of the meaning of, of the foot with the, the, the hand with the middle finger with the high and it's really a thoughtful symbology and I don't understand all of it but uh, what I understand is the reference to again the twin sister uh, so at the beginning of the video uh, uh, Gabriel finds himself in the desert which shall always represent often represents the world here it represents the world and he finds a source of water in the, the desert Inside the water, he, can, he sees the image of uh, Senator Connor. Uh, and when she's in red, she represents the human counterfeit, counterfeit that is uh, um, fooling the, the male spirit. And uh, so, uh, well, you have to see the music video. It's, it's incredible, too, with the meaning. Uh, there is a, uh, a snake symbol symbolism where the when they... They try to reach to each other's hand. They are making like a snake move, a snake uh, uh, movements. Uh, it's the the lyrics of the chorus are, "In the blood of Eden lie the woman and the man, with the man and the woman and the woman and the man." So it's a wordplay depending on what man and woman refers to. Uh, because also he says in the blood of Eden lie the woman. So the blood Eden was was prime creation. We fall from you, we fall from there. So uh, uh, lie the woman and the man. Uh, lie is a double meaning word because it means to lay down, right. and at the same time it means to lie to not being true. So in the blood of Eden, lie the woman and the man. It means that we're not being true. And again, it's it's. Uh, and again, I'm not putting down <laughs> relationship. I understand it's, but we have to examine what examine what was being told to us, uh, like philosophers. Very true. And uh, so, uh, lie the woman and the man. I see the man and the woman and the woman and the man. So I see the man and the woman uh, means that uh, inside. Uh, Underneath the surface, women are men, are male mm -hmm. spiritually. I see the man and the woman, and the woman and the man means that every man has a woman inside, which is the, the twin sister or soul. So I repeat the lyrics another time so that we... In the blood of Eden lie the woman and the man. I see the man and the woman, the woman and the man. Uh, the... Well, we see next picture. She's blinding him. Uh, she, the human counterfeit is blinding the male spirit from the fact that she's not uh, his twin sister. She's an imitation of it. So when she's dressed in red, and probably the blood or freedom is what the reason why the blood is flowing out is because of that. And she's the reason. Uh, at some point in the video, she's she's often seen as veil, and uh, at some point uh, her veil is obscuring the view of uh, Peter Gabriel. Uh, also, um, uh, yeah, at some point he removes the veil from her face and he, he kisses her. Uh, you have to uh, to to uh, see the the lyrics at the same time and watch it without the lyrics and watch it with the and understand <laughs> the lyrics it's really deep really deep stuff that's being told to us in this uh, music video so the next image we see them they are laying or lying their house is made on their horizontal plane and uh, the human uh creature is the only species that is uh, able to completely overcome gravity by standing up like an eye. Mm -hmm. So that's our true potential is and when we do that, we point towards the heaven with our head. And when we are lying, laying, we don't. 
And so their house is on the horizontal plane because the horizontal plane represents life, uh, uh, the life of duality in the world because everything in the world is on the horizontal plane, everything we do. So, uh, so that's another reference to lying or lying. <laughs> so next one is, uh, okay, so we see more, there's a unicorn again. Uh, there's other symbolic animals and, and man is seen as bent. He's not uh, standing up straight um, like he should be uh, if he was really uh, accomplishing his purpose. So, uh, Oh, yeah, and also we'll see next image. I think it's the last one. So uh, at some point in the music video, uh, Sinead O'Connor is, is shown in white, and at some point one uh, for one shot of two seconds, she's shown in gold. And now she's really representing uh, the twin sister, and she has a dagger in her heart because of the lying. Uh, and she has a crown of laurel because she's royalty. Mm -hmm. Supposed victory over over this world, but she has a dagger planted in her heart because of the behavior of the incarnated male spirit. So that's all for the visual I I have. Ooh, that was amazing! Thank you, sir. The crowd has really liked it. I know I loved it. Uh, I know our mutual friend uh, Chris Knowles, uh, Vince and I mutual for Chris will be very happy because even Chris likes to talk about Peter Gabriel as the king of the globalists. <laughs> so, oh no, <laughs> I love Peter Gabriel. Uh, oh, yeah, hey, it's still good music. There's no, it's just <laughs> yeah. Well, they all are. Uh, their their creative input is uh, all comes from the same source. They uh, just are. Uh, there are different genres and different artists to like to do, to be to the liking of everybody, but they they all are uh, at least the main one uh, found the, they all are uh, take their their inspiration from the same source. And Gabriel has a video called Big Time where uh, you see the um, pyramid with the capstone at the top, and uh, he's saying I'm gonna. Uh, big words are going to come from my mouth. So the big words that are coming from his mouth, from the Archon and Chief, that is, uh, and that is the, the the same for all of them, really. Yeah, as uh, some people noticed uh, yeah. in the sh in the chat, there's a they were mentioning the movie Under a Silver Lake with Andrew Garfield, where there's this ancient demon, old zombie guy who's written every song. And all the songs are he he's written every popular song ever, and every song is a mind control uh, spell. So okay. The one guy I haven't seen that scum. one. But uh, yeah, that's one of the plot lines. So yeah, this is just scratching the surface. Uh, oh yeah. yeah you yeah. have a few minutes for uh, audience questions, Ian. Sure, sure, sure. All right, all right. Uh, okay. Ben, I, I need to let them. out the cat and make sure okay. my daughters are not listening to Katy Perry. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I'll let you feel the questions. All righty. Well, um, here's one that a couple of people were wondering. Are these people trying to teach us or mock us? You know, or maybe teach us by mocking us? What do you think yeah. their intentions are with all this? Well, uh, like I said, I think there uh, there's more than one. Um, well, uh, for me, uh, they're only spokesperson from, from the god of the world, really. The Demiurge. And they, uh, they, uh, they, they don't want us to really find that out. I think they, what they want is to tell us and, and, not, and us not be able to see. That's what they, they get their kicks off. Uh, this, but because all the, there's obviously a lot of people in, implicated in that. And uh, they, uh, they're, uh, they all know what's going on. It's just the ordinary public that doesn't know. We are uh, being mocked, and but at the same time, it's uh, it's uh, we have to take this to our advantage and to uh, uh, learn what we have to learn from it and change our direction, both uh, individually and collectively. Uh, that's I think we have to take this uh, like an opportunity. 
because uh, it really is coded. And uh, if you go to my website and you study it, you will come, I think if you're honest, Motley, that's my hope, you will come to the same conclusion if I made a good job uh, at uh, explaining things. Yeah, code is the exact thing that I was thinking of when I was uh, looking at all this. Let's see who else you got. Uh, Occult fan wants to know if you know about the band Tool and what do you think of their work in general and are they trying to raise humanity's consciousness? Uh, yeah, I know the band, but I haven't uh, researched them. Uh, I know the band from uh, from a long time. Yeah, I know. Well, a lot of artists uh, have, uh, have uh, coded uh, material, uh, but it's... it's uh, it's not always uh, what I do. And the website uh, that I've done is really more about the twin sister. It's all about that. What I found about the the heart and soul and the the. It's really in retrospect. Uh, I didn't. I was not aware when I when I was doing it. But in retrospect, it's really what I what it does that it proves first that she's real and she's uh she's there. She's not just uh because uh, a lot of um. Now science tells us that we are just uh, little cells and uh, that we're nothing but that, and that's not true. We have a soul, yeah. and this, uh, this, this all this is the popular music uh, knows this is a whole revelation, and there is nothing like it that we had ever in human history. So it all happened in the past uh, little decades from from now. And uh, now uh, we have to to use this and make this. That my 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 purpose and my hope is to make this widely known, so that humanity can change direction, because uh, we have to, we have an opportunity there to um, to shift things. It's already happening, and I think on my website and uh, also of course what you do, the the great work you do with the podcast is, is helping that uh, humanity changing uh, path that we're on right now. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Hey, have you seen the um, um, Aronofsky's Pi movie? Do you think there's a lot of symbolism yeah, yeah. in there? Yeah, I've seen them a long time ago. Yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, I like it too. You made good, you made good, uh, good picture, the guy. Um, Very Aronofsky. Gnostic movies. All his mother. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all these all his movies have... Uh, oh, mother, man. <laughs> interesting elements. Yeah, for sure. Well, you should come back uh, next time and we'll discuss the movies, though, if you want. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and you're right. Uh, we have to know this as like the old cliche that uh, millionaires don't do astrology, billionaires do astrology. Uh, even if you don't believe in magic, they've been using magic against us for thousands of years. And yeah. this is that we are at a place where we can get the information and use that magic against them back at them so yeah you have to simple as that simple as exactly. that if you don't want to believe it works as long as the, if they believe it works then it works <laughs> yeah and they've so. got the entertainment industry <laughs> <laughs> yeah so this has been great yeah for those of you uh, audio version will be out either tomorrow in a couple of days latest uh Definitely check out Ian's GnosticWorldAwakening.com. We'll be yeah. on the show notes for those of you who are listening on audio. There is so much more, and it's a wonderful rabbit hole that you'll come out yeah. much wiser, a white pill, black pill, red pilled, everything pilled once you <laughs> check out yeah. his stuff. Yeah. So thank you. And uh, the website's gonna change name soon. It's gonna be called uh, Pop Music Decoded, which is oh. more to the point what I'm doing. Uh, it was a bit clumsy, Gnostic World Awakening, but uh, uh, things evolve. Things yeah. evolve. You've got so, that you're, section you're on able... money, so I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> you still be able to be to uh, access the website with the old name or the new one. So yeah, redirect Gnostic World Awakening or Pop Music Decoding. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing, and in time, hopefully, you'll have some slides, do your own videos on YouTube, and uh, yeah survive the archons <laughs> yeah. so this has been great this has been wonderful yeah for the audience you guys were great in your chat you as always very intelligent insights from everybody really appreciate the super chats from a couple of people uh couldn't write them down because i was busy but i really do appreciate appreciate your support and appreciate you being here so 
we might as well wrap it up. And Vance, thanks for uh, keeping us company. Oh, sure. Yeah, this is interesting. Um, gosh, I, I need a Captain Midnight decoder ring <laughs> for these. <laughs> Go have some watermelon. <laughs> or, or I say the same, closed, yeah. closed hermeneutic caption <laughs> oh before we go one of my favorite videos by Katy perry is extraterrestrial because oh yeah if you look at this it is from the nag Hammadi, it is sophia falling into yeah. matter because she gets crazier and crazier yeah, yeah, and wow. told me that, she yeah. turns into so the eve which was happened sophia turns into eve with the adam and of course kanye west plays the perfect demiurge trying to stop yeah. her and rape her and you know seduce her through the video so the, the that's lyrics another are good. interesting too because mm -hmm. extraterrestrial people think about aliens but it it might refers to something that is just not terrestrial so the archons yeah. are not terrestrial you know yeah right. it's just the fall of sophia and and again the demiurge is machinations yeah. on her so yeah, yeah, yeah but anyway for another time well ian thank you very much and really you. appreciate your time and we look forward to the next time Thanks, uh, thanks a lot for having me on. All right, everybody. As I Take always everybody. say, uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for being yourself, your true self here in the desert of the real. And yeah, keep writing your own gospel and living your own myth. Talk to you soon. <laughs>